Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Adam Wolf, and this is the gameplay. It's about an, almost an hour of gameplay of Crimson Desert. Pearl Abyss, as you can see. These guys are the uh, developers behind Black Desert Online, and Crimson Desert is basically them taking Black Desert Online and what they learned with that game and putting it into a single-player experience, which I'm really, really excited about because it's from the first initial reveal of this game to now, I have been foaming at the mouth just on the visuals alone but i've seen some of the gameplay not this one in particular but whatever they've shown uh, in the past and it just looks unbelievable i'm not entirely sure uh what what engine they're using i could really i could look up real quick here but um it is it is looking unbelievable now if you look this up online it says it's an online game uh, I wonder if it's like a co-op. I wouldn't want another, I mean, they've already got Black Desert online, so I'm hoping, as far as I know, that this one is a single player game, not an online. Um, it doesn't say what engine it's using. I guess if I go to the Wikipedia here, it might actually say, it does, the Black Space engine, so I'm guessing that's a proprietary engine. Um, but, I mean, kudos to them. There's not a lot of developers that actually put out their own stuff with their own stuff, you know what I mean? So, um, very happy to see that they're not using a generic Unreal Engine, or not that Unreal Engine's bad, but, or Unity, or what have you. So, that's good. That's good. They're using their own technology. Um, and uh, to great effect, I might add, but um, it's an hour long, so it's going to be a while. Let's just shut up and get into it here. This came out two weeks ago. The continent of Pywell. A land soaked in blood. I wonder if they have... Whose history is written in war. If there's... I'm guessing there's some crossover probably with Black Desert Online. You know, like, there's different, um... Between the Grey Mains who fight for peace. Like, the Pywell. Those of you who played Black Desert might know what that is. Might know that location or whatever. If that is, you know, if they've related the two games. The visuals are just awesome. Showing some controller use. Glad to see it's more action uh, focused compared to, you know, instead of, uh, you know, the Souls like action RPG. It's. I saw a quick uh, glimpse at Asmongold's video, and he said it's like. Zelda mixed with Assassin's Creed. It does have a very Assassin's Creed look to it in terms of the combat, so. Yeah. I was gonna say, that dude wasn't that far away. I like the I like the way that uh, the animation looks for sure. The animations are solid, nice and smooth. Combat feel it looks like it feels like really smooth. Him being able to kind of roll over the top of the enemy and get behind him and all this other stuff. It looks really good. Why didn't he just kill that? Got some mini quick time events. The combat looks very impactful. I, I actually do like when um, developers implement in their game where it looks like it, the game's stuttering every time you hit an enemy or something, but it's actually meant to give more impact to the hit. 
It's like a, it's a stylistic choice, not an actual performance problem. And I, I rather enjoy it. She looked like she was gonna stab him right in the nuts. Get your fat fingers off me. It does look like if you get yourself surrounded though, you could get your ass kicked for sure. So you gotta be ready, you gotta be careful. I'm hoping that you get to uh First of all, I'm hoping for a main protagonist. Okay, you play one character, not a group of them or whatever. I just want to have one character. Cliff looks like maybe he might be the main character. I guess we'll have to see. We'll have to go through this a little bit more. Um, I may not go through the whole hour-long video. You know, if we've seen pretty much everything we need to see, then you know, we'll cut it off. But... Should have taken our offer when you had the chance. Look at yourselves. <laughs> Peace. What good is that if you're all fucking dead? My comrades died for a noble cause. Facial animation's I'll a little bit you mm. what's noble. Why very stiff, dead eye stare. And women. Those who follow me shall have all three. Get him. <laughs> I wonder if this is based in any kind of um, mythology. Mjordan sounds really Norse. Very Nordic name. Cliff definitely does not. <laughs> Okay, so that little square symbol looks like it might be his stamina bar. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I won't lie, I'm kind of sick of stamina bars. It's getting annoying because it seems like every freaking game has one. Might have spoken too soon about Cliff being the main character. Tell me where it is. Oh yeah, he's dead. I find nevers are quite malleable under pressure. You will never know. Wrong answer. Better look to the next gray main. Dude, that is bloody. No. <laughs> Give G in my regards. Bring me the I guess he's not the main protagonist. <laughs> the hunt has begun. It's a hell of a start. I really hope this isn't like there's no PvP in here. Because I mean that's that's what Black Desert Online is for. This was supposed to be purely single player, maybe co-op. I don't know. So far, I, I've i only ever seen that it's supposed to be single player. Also has a look of Dragon's Dogma as well. So I wonder if this is before that battle. Map kind of reminds me a little bit of Ghost of Tsushima. Visuals are unbelievable. They are really nice. I like the lighting. So far the frame rate's pretty good. Holding pretty well at 60. Probably a few blips here and there. Um, at the moment, it looks like the camera panning is a little bit not smooth, though. And that's 
That's very distracting, unfortunately. Whether or not that has to do with frame time or just animation in general, or the, the animation of the camera in general, I'm not entirely sure. But I just noticed that there is stuttering when the camera moves. I always thought about playing Black Desert Online, but I asked my friend Skittles and she said it's... It's really... Once you get into the end game, the end game is pretty much just like you're you're forced to PvP. Now that was back way back when, when I asked her that. So it might be different now, but from what I can tell, it just didn't seem like my kind of thing. It would have been cool because I really thought the idea was really awesome, but... She said that on the back end of the game, it's really a lot of PvP at the end for the end game stuff, and I'm just not... Nah. I got enough PvP games to play. I don't need any more. Kind of tired of PvP. We've had way too many of them over the last five to eight years. I'm sick of it. It's time for this co-op and single-player games to make a big comeback, and they are in a really, really big way, so... Really happy to see that. And I'm hoping that this game, at most, is co-op. I don't know why Google said it was an online game, because it's it's not really been sold as that. It's been sold as a single-player offline game, but we'll see. If there are online elements, it's either co-op, maybe leaderboard for something. Not sure. And of course, keep in mind, this is, this is early gameplay. Probably alpha, maybe early beta. So, a lot of this can change. Visuals could get worse or better. Uh, they're very good right now. Animations are very well done. I don't like the facial animations, though. Very stiff looking. It being an open world game, usually the facial animations are what go, unfortunately, to say the least. Facial animations are not usually great in open world games. I can see some some breakage, vi you know, image breakup on the horse's hair. So you can definitely tell that there's probably a, a temporal solution for anti-aliasing going on. Might have to do with some upscaling technique that they might be using. It's definitely not DLSS, that's for sure. DLSS wouldn't be broken up that badly. Is that like an orc? That dude's green. I mean, there's taller beings. I'm guessing those might be trolls. Maybe giants. So it does look like this is actually... Yeah, that was, that was definitely like a troll or a goblin. He's just purposely running into people. If you're gonna run more, why did you get off your horse? I like the combination of realistic medieval style with fantasy. Ah, a little fancier garb for when he goes into the castle, maybe. Yeah, those are probably giants. Uh, he's got teeth like an orc. The lighting is really good. I don't know whether they're going to be using real time or ray tracing or something like that, but right now it looks really good. Um, I'm guessing it's not ray tracing because he went into the shadow of the uh, the archway there, and if it was ray tracing, he wouldn't have been as dark as he was. Oh. Wait. I don't think. Hmm. Seems like a permit. No clue where he got it. Who cares? We don't look like the troublemaking type. Right. Oh, really? He can pass then. Open a gate. Head on through. <laughs> With all the weapons on my back side. and at my side, I'm not the troublemaking type. Is that true? <laughs> I don't know. See here, the it looks normal though. The shadows look do they do look normal there. Hmm. It's tough. 
it's tough. The shadows are a little bit too sharp, though. So definitely not correct shadows. They look good. They're just not correct. They're a little too sharp for how far away those shadows were from the wall that was creating the shadow. It should be a lot softer than that. So definitely not using ray trace shadows or anything like that. Reflections. Uh, there's some ghosting. I'm looking for... Whew. Man, that's tough. If that's screen space, that's really good. They're doing a really good job of it. But... I should look around. Oh, he's Scottish. What's this? I like the way that kind of just filled the room. That really brightened up the room there. I don't know, man. I might have to take it back. That, there might be some ray trace global illumination, which is my favorite type of ray tracing. I've kind of gotten over the the allure of ray tracing. I think it's you. It's overused. And when it is you, well, not overused. It's you. When it's used, it's not very good, generally for the most part. And it's disappointing because it could have been something massive for the for the gaming this industry, is, but it's just edition. never really been implemented perfectly. Cyberpunk is like the only one that really did with the path tracing update, but it's it's just when it's used, it's always just like one or two elements of ray tracing instead of a full package, and it's usually not done very well. Like ray trace reflections, they're usually terrible. Um, so I'm kind of over ray tracing. I would rather they spend time putting the art and the work into baked lighting or real-time lighting because I've seen games where they've done the traditional methods and made it look very good. It's possible. You just got to have an eye for it. And there's a lot of people in this industry who have an eye for that kind of stuff. That's definitely screen space reflections. Some, or something something in the background is really screwing up there, so. There's a lot of noise in the reflections. There are trolls. So not giants, just trolls. This is not the first time we've met. My name is Alistair. Is that Patrick Stewart? No. This place holds no, the it's not. Of the world. Almost sound like him. Each record signifies a word. That voice sounds familiar, though. Thus, the library of Providence is the center of all worlds. What is the reason you brought me here? Yeah, the facial animations are not there good. Are Again, early, they might actually place. change it before release, but they the just don't look good at all. Uh, yeah, that's screen space reflections. You can see the breakage. Look at that. You can see the breakup in the reflection below his feet there. Um, and that's usually indicative of screen space not really working well with um, whatever upscaler they decided to use. And you'll use and get, usually get those artifacts. So please fulfill the mission GN desires. You know, Jen. There will be time to discuss that later. And you can see the the dithering on his beard and everything. The hair is, is very good. Will you know, individual strands can be seen and stuff like that. So uh, but if either it's the anti-aliasing method they chose, or if you know Jen. the upscaling method that they decided to go with is not working well with the hair. You can see the 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 dithering and the breakage, so it's not very good. I don't like it per particularly, but that's a large request. I'm sick of uh, temporal anti-aliasing solutions. I would rather us go back to stuff Wait, like SMAA or you know SSAA or MSAA. Those solutions are always they're nice. They're cleaner. The only time that 
temporal anti-aliasing has been implemented very well is in Skyrim, the special edition. They did a phenomenal job with that. Even at lower resolutions, you couldn't even, Shall like, it has clean lines. It doesn't really break up very, very much, or if at all. I don't know how Bethesda did it and nobody else can, but... A guardian of the abyss, if you will. Abyss? You can call it the Cradle of Providence. It serves as a bridge between Providence and the world. Is there a reason you waited for me? It does look like the lip sync is to the English. Um, the kindness, I don't know what Pearl Abyss is, if they're a Japanese or Korean company. I think Have they might be Korean. I could be wrong. They might entirely be European. But uh, I hope you are not easily frightened. it does look like the lip sync is to the English. But I am wondering if uh, if they are a different... If they are from an Asian country, if they if they'll have like, you know, Japanese or Korean or whatever. Last step better not lead to the afterlife. Particle effects are really nice. Skydiving with no parachute, huh? Just use your shield. Boy, you gotta have a lot of faith in whoever those people are. Wow. 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 I'm tr I'm looking out across at the distance there to see if there's any kind of like anomalies. I'm not seeing much. Wow. Wow. I can't stop. I can Look at how big that is. You can see the castle in the distance. Look at that. Wow, dude, their their engine is powerful. Look at that. And it's still running at a solid, pretty solid high 50s, 60 FPS. But you can see, look at, there's a whole city over there. Whoa. That mountain looks imposing. But you can literally go anywhere. Oh. What the hell? It's like a wingsuit. Wow. And they're using a controller. That doesn't mean they're not on PC, but they're using a controller. So it'd be nice to know what kind of system they're on. If I... Dude, mm, I can't imagine console running at a solid 60. With that kind of view? No. No way, dude. With that kind of view and that much detail, there's no way consoles run that well. Maybe at 30. But at 60? Eh, I don't think so. And obviously, I've played Assassin's Creed at 30 FPS and... You know, it runs fine. It, you know, it's it's not a game that you need at 60 FPS unless, of course, you want to time your parries correctly. Generally, higher frame rate works to your advantage there, but... Wow. I like the look of the armor, I'm not going to lie. That is insane. The Vista... The vistas that you have just looking out. That is unreal. That dude's wife was verbally abusing the crap out of him. Because <laughs> he just like, I guess he lost money at the tables. What the hell is that? Is that a, um, what the hell do they call those? Like pan? The hell was Pan, the Piper? I can't. I, I, I can't remember the name of that that species. Let me look that up while this keeps going. Marius? Ah, 
place. Seder. There you go. I thought I'd never see you again. All right. You're alive. But your leg. <laughs> I'm just glad I'm still breathing. Ooh, look at the... Did you guys see the size of the screen? Hold on. Watch the left side of the screen. Oh, even the right side. You can kind of see the wall kind of warping a little bit. You're alive. But your leg. I'm just glad I'm still breathing. Yeah. Ooh, that's weird. What the hell is that? Why is it warped like that? And what of the others? We've scattered in all directions. Everyone. Bunker. That must be... Yes. But I'm sure they're well alive out there. Hello? That must be like... The game... Unrendering or de-rendering any assets that might be behind him. So like maybe tessellations kind of causing it to warp like that. That is weird. That's a weird thing if you notice it. Those fools fell for it. See how heavy this now obviously the is. mostly you're gonna be looking at the center of the screen, so you probably won't notice it at all. But what's wrong? It's best not to draw attention. The black bears are on our tail. The voice actors right. or the voicing is alright. Say the voice acting. Back all the way here. He's still searching for the artifacts. <laughs> Once a grey mane. Always a grey mane. Where are you staying, Marius? In this corner of the street. I just, I didn't like the way Cliff was like, your leg. <laughs> why did he say it so unconcerning? Like, why, why did he sound so unconcerned about that? Got some nice neighbors. But Marius, your leg. I'm sorry. I'll look for a decent place. Don't push yourself too hard, Cliff. I mean it. I've gotten used to my life here. Marius, you... Like that. What? That... That sounds... Like he... Uh, he's just, like, monotone. Marius, you... I'm assuming he was meant to stammer on that you... I was like, Marius, you, I need to find my comrades at home. Or I something like that. I need to find my comrades at home. Like, I feel like there was supposed to be more inflection. Like, he was supposed to not say you. Have he was supposed right? to just cut himself off. Kind of like, you know, because Marius is walking away. Like, he had more to say, but, you know, he cut off the mid-sentence because... He, you know, Marius wasn't about to hear him. Pardon me. I'm looking for my comrades. Grey mains. Seen any? Captain, I think a grey mane's gone and found us. How much was Mutant's bounty again? That dude is pasty pale. Pieces? Both of them. Has your life worth so little? <sighs> Enough. Forgive my man. They may have given the wrong impression. Yeah, Cliff's you voice actor is not very good. Oh, I've always wanted to test my skills. Matthias definitely is a much better voice actor. What say you? You're here, standing before me. You see, the, the armor has also got some some reflections on it, but it's a bit broken up. None that yeah. I can think of. Ah, so it's true. Grey manes never run from a fight. <laughs> yeah. I've heard the lengths you'll go for the sake of your mission. But you seek radiant fragments that fall from the sky. Is that right? What's it to you? Oh, mere curiosity. Now, sure. now of course, having a... Having a, a claymore of that size on your back, not not realistic, obviously. It just looks cool. It's the rule of cool, essentially. It looks cool for a dude to pull a sword off his back instead of from the side. 
But a claymore that size? Yeah, you wouldn't be pulling it off your back unless you had a specifically designed scabbard. And I don't even know if you'd be wearing it on your hip. You'd just have to carry it because it's just too big. Claymores are really big swords. He's got a lot of blood on him. <laughs> Oof. Love the environmental interaction during combat. You can kick him right into... Nice, dude. You can sh throw him right into a wall or a cart or something. That's really good. That shows that they paid attention to the detail a little bit. His sword is really messed up. They say... Raiden's finest swordsman is a gray man. It was an honor to join him. That was a good boat. Uh, Anand is home to many mighty warriors. One cleaved an ox's horn without his blade ever touching it. Just a warning to a worthy opponent. I'll keep that in mind. I don't like Cliff's voice actor. It's cool that he's Scottish, but he, he sounds very Incredible. unenthusiastic. You really are the esteemed Grey Mane. It appears the clucking of house hens held a kernel of truth. I'm Barden Midler. The man responsible for keeping peace in Hanand. Come. I love the armor. Walk with me, would you? Do you know me? The glory of the Grey Manes is known throughout Hanan. The voice sounds familiar too. Pardon my presumptuousness, but I have come with an urgent request. Go ahead. Not long ago, a boulder fell from the sky and crushed a farmhouse. We're calling it a, a, a sky boulder, considering its origins. Real original. Shortly after, brigands appeared, utilizing a peculiar form of trickery. They employ a red smoke that bewitches the senses. So I beseech you, will you capture them and reveal their identities? I have my own mission, seeking out my grey mane comrades. You can see the this I'll cut on his throat. Help, but make no promises. I'm a little confused as to how this works. That's more than enough. Until we meet again. Okay, I'm gonna stop it right there because uh, I would I, I want you guys to go and check out the rest yourselves. Um, you know, give this give this another view it, it's already at 700,000 views so I guess it really doesn't need another one but you know I mean give them give them some love you know don't don't watch the IGN one screw those guys give it to the official channel this is this is the uh, Crimson Desert YouTube channel give it a look see you can watch the rest for yourselves I think I've seen plenty um wow uh I'm very very blown away by the power of their engine that they're using here. It's very well done. Um, relatively 60 FPS throughout the majority of this, this uh, demonstration. I, what really blew me away, obviously, was the absolute enormity of the landscape and how far out you could see into the distance without any major, like, you know, weird anomalies in the, you know, in terms of the graphics, you could see cities and castles out in the distance. Unbelievable. I, that kind of, that rivals, if not beats, this is going to be controversial, Skyrim. Because in Skyrim, that was one of its biggest features was the fact that you could look out and you could see everything you needed to see. And it's like, I can go there. But the detail was obviously paired back because it was 2011 they you know they were really pushing boundaries with the with the ps3 and 360 but um even with mo the modern version of skyrim special edition you know the it's still the same engine 
you know, they it's still pared back. Even if you look out in the distance, you're playing on a PS5, you know, whatever. You can be playing on PS5 Pro, I guarantee you. It's not going to look better. Uh, but that level of detail going out that far, unreal. That is unreal. It looks so good. So, very, very impressive. That is unbelievable to look at. Uh, so, I'm very excited for this game. It does seem primarily single player. I don't know why Google thinks it's an online game. I hope that if there are online elements, it's purely co-op. If that, uh, it doesn't really look like it needs to be co-op. I'm not entirely sure how the gray main thing works. He died, right? Or did he die? Because that cut is on his neck where he got he got cut in the, in the throat. But is it like reincarnation or something? I mean, I'm sure it'll be explained when the game comes out. They obviously didn't show that might have been the beginning, but there might be something before that kind of explaining who the Grey Manes are. Um, but he very clearly has that cut on his neck, but he's still alive. So maybe it's like a reincarnation thing. Maybe it's like a projection thing where he, you know, he projected himself into that. And this is the power of the Grey Manes. He projected himself into that battle. And while he died... He does retain the scars of that battle, so he'll have stab wounds on his chest and stuff like that where he got stabbed, and uh, he has the scar on his neck. So that's my guess, which is pretty cool. That's a pretty cool trick to have, but I hope they explain that when the game comes out. Um, I'm not entirely sure if this this ends with you know the the game's release date if it has one. I really. Yeah, they, it doesn't look like they have anything settled yet. Um, I'm not seeing a, a, a release date there at the end. So, oh man, they're making us wait. They're making us wait, but you know, it'll be worth it, I think. I think this game is going to be another great Dragon's Dogma-like game. Another great open-world fantasy game that I, I'm really excited that they, they decided to say, hey, we did Black Desert Online. It was relatively successful. Let's take that technology and put it into a, a proper single-player narrative-focused uh, game. Facial animations, I said before, uh, clean those up. I hope they clean them up by the time of release. Uh, I know that with open-world games, it's very difficult to get facial animations because, you know, it's processing power. And when you got tons of characters on the screen or in one area, it'd be kind of difficult to really... Um, have everybody have perfect facial animations, but I think they should focus on main characters like Cliff and like the guy he just met. Um, you know, maybe those characters can have good facial animation, but like, you know, the townsfolk can have the crappy kind of facial animation. But I don't know. I, I don't develop games, so I don't know how hard it is, but I hope that maybe they, they make it a little bit better. If not, you know, clean it up perfectly, make it a little bit better and, uh, you know, allow them to properly express uh, their feelings at the time. So, um, fantastic. Looks amazing. I can't wait. And uh, I, go go to the official channel and, and take a look at the uh, the rest for yourselves. And uh, hopefully you guys are just as interested, in, uh, interested as I am. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Please join me again in the next one where we'll take a look at yet another trailer and uh, give my thoughts and opinions on it. I don't really have a good sign off for this this series. <laughs> but until then, I'm Adam Wolf. This is Crimson Desert. And I'll see you guys later.